been reading in Darwin's Ornithological Notes, his studies of birds when he was on the HMS Beagle. Fascinating how his powers of observation shaped evolution. Looks like I just caught a hawk getting a mouse or something. There he is. Darwin's analysis of birds was a fascinating insight into how he understood evolution. His analysis of uh, all kinds of birds on the beagle. Wonderful to study. I'm going to share with you some of Ken Miller's insights into evolution and the indeterminacy of our world. Einstein said, God doesn't play with dice. Niels Bohr said, who is Einstein to tell God what to do? <laughs> kind of fascinating. Ken Miller has some wonderful insights into this that I want to share with you. I'll share with you how the indeterminacy of life does not mean life does not have any meaning. That is not what it means. It means we are truly free, free as this hawk is floating on the wind. Oh, this is fabulous catching this beautiful bird out here on a very cool foggy morning. He's hunting. Darwin became a professional through his observations on the HMS Beagle in the 1830s. It was his ornithological notes that I've been reading that shows his powers of observation. Really fantastic. Evolution does not prove there isn't a God. That is not the point of evolution. Evolution shows we are truly free. That's what Ken Miller notes. Oh. Okay, I've got my books. Uh, that was fun capturing that hawk this morning. I'll, uh, I'll explain the significance of that here in a minute. Uh, I've been studying... Oh my gosh. Oh, my hair looks crazy, doesn't it? Ay, ay, ay. I should have prepared for the camera. Hang on, let me go primp and proper myself and I'll be right back. Don't go away. I've got some wonderful junk to share with you. Yeah, baby. All right. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Don't get serious. Oh, yeah, there. See? Hey, I'm a handsome son of a gun when I try. <laughs> oh, Got to clear off my glasses. Um, I, I went out and... Uh, I've been studying this, uh, let me share this with you real quick, if I can. This is, uh, what book is this? Pilgrim on the Great Bird Continent. Uh, the Importance of Everything. The Importance of Everything. And Other Lessons from Darwin's Lost Notebooks. This is by Leander Lynn Haupt. Uh, Little Brown and Company. It's a brand new book, 2006. It's the ornament ornithological notes of Charles Darwin that he made while he was on the uh, HMS Beagle. And they were lost for a while, and now she's come out and uh, explored those. And the significance it was for helping him digest his observations of evolution. And then, of course, the Charles Darwin, uh, The Beagle's Letters, brand new book out by Frederick Burkh Burkhart. Uh, 2008, of all the letters that came to Darwin while he was on his five-year voyage on the Beagle and that he wrote, all assembled together. And they're absolutely magnificent. Ah, fun to read the actual... Uh, you can see how, with his keen observation of nature, with his delightful, wondrous, boyish curiosity, and, and his... Uh, astonishing insights on how he analyzed what he was seeing and uh, how it all fit together. Th this was the basis of what he said in the end of his Origin of Species as there is a grandeur 
to this way of life, and there truly is. So many people, unfortunately, misunderstand and think that evolution is evil. They think it's Satan's tool. They think that evolution is the devil's counterfeit to God's creation. And that is pathetic. You are blaspheming God when you mock his astonishing creativity in this creation. I, I'm a theistic evolutionist, and I'm well aware of the other arguments about how utterly stupid and contradictory this is, and so on and so forth. At this point in time, I can live with that. For now, my paradigm, based on what I know, which is far too little, but based on what I know, I am a theistic ev evolutionist. Absolutely. And I do believe, now this is a personal statement, I don't have the science to back this up. Because I don't need it. Ken Miller's analysis in his book, Finding Darwin's God, I believe has the answer. In fact, this is what has convinced me, basically, about my particular paradigm. And I'm open to understanding more. I am open to learning more, just like Charles Darwin was. He never stopped. I mean, from his study of the birds, uh, the finches, the, the pigeons that he raised, um, the, the crows and hawks and so on and so forth, from his study of orchids. It didn't matter whether it was plant life, it didn't matter whether it was birds. He even did a final study at the end of his life on the lowly earthworms. And, and, and this is the theme. This is the theme for Charles Darwin. His reverence of nature, his ability to enjoy nature, the importance of everything. Let me see if I can find this quote real quick. Um, it's, it's really good. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I knew it. Page 15 out of, uh, out of uh, what's her head's book? Hout's book. Darwin's very personal scientific methods grew out of the observations contained in his field notes. And he took very good field notes, thank God goodness, and in their creases he foists upon us his strict but beautiful maxim. This was Darwin's attitude. Here's what he said. Nothing, nothing in the natural world is beneath our notice. And he meant that. He meant Nothing is beneath our notice. There's, there's a reverence there. I love that. Th this is very interesting. And you can see his, his respect and his, his demeanor of being so humble and not wanting to offend people and, and uh, coming to an understanding with his deductions of what he was seeing, how he analyzed the life of the various islands in relationship to the coast of South America, and what those helped him understand about the impact and the importance of evolution. But, but I'm, I'm getting off my subject here. To, to, uh, to my favorite scholars, I, I can't help it, I know I keep saying this, but Ken Miller, uh, his brand new book, Only a Theory, Sensational. His book, Finding Darwin's God. I believe he has the key. Now, in, in another style, and bringing out information that Miller doesn't, but in a, in a unique way, Michael Dowd, thank God for evolution, says much the same thing, except in a different manner than what Miller says...